Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you how I cut my own curtain bangs. So I know everyone's stuck in quarantine right now, COVID-19, and the one thing you are not supposed to do is cut your own hair. So guess what? I'm cutting my own hair. Kind of just seems to be the right sequence of events these days, right? This is how they came out. I do not think that they came out that bad. I'm sure if you are a hairstylist with a trained eye, you're looking at it and you're like, oh my gosh, what did you do? But you know what? It works for me. And apparently you YouTubers love to watch people who have absolutely no idea what they're doing because you guys blew up my hair bleaching video. Oh my gosh, that thing has gone absolutely wild. And I said multiple times in there, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, but we are going for it. And if you guys want this look right here, I can show you exactly how I did it. You're gonna need a comb, preferably one that has one of these little guys right here so that it's easier to section out your hair. And then, of course, shears. I have had these, yeah, I cut myself with them. <laughs> I have had these since I went to beauty school, which I dropped out of, but these are amazing, amazing shears. I love them so much. Then you're going to want a hairband to be able to tie your hair back, the portion that we're not going to be cutting to keep it out of the way. And then you might want to keep a clip handy as well. Preferably two, actually. First, we want to make sure that our hair has no tangles in it. It makes it obviously way, way easier to work with when there is no knots. Now I'm going to split my hair down the middle, it's pretty much already there. Next I'm going to triangle off the hair that I want to be in the bang. So I already have some here from yesterday, but I decided that I wanted to make the bang a little bit thicker and slightly shorter. So I'm going to start it back a little bit farther. And obviously you want to try and make it as even as possible. Now I'm going to put the rest of my hair up into a ponytail and get it out of the way. Now I'm going to be taking one layer of this all the way down, one small layer, and separate that. Now I'm going to take as much as I can from the middle area and comb all that together. Now I'm going to start twisting it and you don't want to really just like twist it, twist it. You want to take your fingers and turn it, not like a real twist. This just keeps it more uniform. And I'm going to cut. <laughs> so the point of twisting it like this is because you're bringing it into the center. This is going, when you're holding it in the center, I don't even know how to explain this right. <laughs> when you're holding it in the center, the center part is um, 
you know, the hair is going to be the shortest because you're bringing this hair over here. This hair is going to be longer. So then when you twist it, so then when you twist it and you cut it, the shortest area is going to be here and then it's going to taper this way. So that that's the point of that. For some reason, this side just wants to sit so perfectly. Like, look, look, look how great that is. And then this is just like blah because it's so dead and damaged it doesn't want to do anything you want it to do it's just like i hate you you killed me already why would i do anything you want me to do so now for all of this longer stuff i'm going to bring all of it this way and when you pull it this way it's going to be at an angle and that's what i'm going to cut <laughs> So that when it flows down, it's still at an angle and it's framing my face. You need to cut everything at an angle so that it frames your face. Now you can see that all of this is angled and tapered down. Just slowly gets longer. Now I'm going to take a new layer from each side. So now that I have an idea of where I want the length, I'm going to do this process one more time just so that I have a bigger section to work with. I can see the shorter hairs right here. I'm going to go and match it to that. Now bringing the new hair in, I am dragging it over this way so that I can see where the hair needs to be cut with the hair that we already cut. Just matching the angle with everything. So the hair stops about right here. So I'm going to go cut all of this. And just keep doing that for all of it. You can see that when you pull it down like that, it's at an angle. You want it all to match like that. Now it's kind of hard for me to get some of these pieces to really match everything because in right here, it's a little bit shorter because when I bleached my hair, some of it got destroyed and fell out. Like all the end parts fell out. So not too much I can do about that. That's why this end just like looks like a really pretty slope and then right here is just like it looks like something's missing right here. It's because there's hair missing. <laughs> now bringing in the last section. Again, just bringing the rest of the hair in with what is already cut and then matching it to everything else. Now our last step is going to be making it blend. So you're going to take each piece of hair and start cutting with your scissors this way. It's going to make the, the cut not so blunt. See how that really just like feathers it? That is the goal. So this is the finished look. I went and curled it, styled it, blow dried the bangs, and set them into place. And here we are. I have never cut bangs before in my life. Actually, yes, I did when I was really little. I got scissors and I like literally cut my bangs like down to the root and a big chunk of it too. I think I was in kindergarten and I had to go to school with it just like a stub, a big, a big stub. <laughs> 
I think that might have also been the day that I smeared a lipstick all over my face. I'm not sure. Anyways, these were not nearly as hard to do as I thought they were going to be. I was really scared. Um, I was supposed to have my hairstylist friend Nikki do it, but since we are all in quarantine right now, that was not an option and I am one of the most impulsive people on the planet Earth. So I decided to do it myself and I figured if I mess it up, hey, I'm not going out of the house anyways. I will just have Nikki fix it in like, you know, a month or whatever. Um, but it turned out pretty good. <laughs> like I said, if you're a hairstylist and you're watching it, you're probably absolutely cringing. But to the untrained eye, I am pretty happy with it. If you guys test out this tutorial, do not forget to tag me at J on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.